Hello YouTube users. In this tutorial, I will teach you how to create bullets and I'll show you how to shoot those bullets. So the first thing I want you to know is that it would be best for you to watch some of my earlier tutorials such as Flash CS4, CS5, Platform Game Tutorial Part 1 and Part 2 and Flash CS4, CS5, Platform Game Tutorial Character Animation. I'm gonna be nice and show you what code and symbols that you should have for this tutorial. You should have a running animation of any type of character you choose. It can be a stick man, a ball man, or some detailed character that you drew. You should have a standing animation or standing frame. And last but not least, a jumping animation or frame. Oh yes. You should have all these animations in another symbol called player. See, right here I have a standing animation. Here is the running animation. And here is the jumping animation. They are in frames 1, 2 and 3 respectively. Now to show you the code, I put comments to help you just in case, so I'm just going to run through it quickly. There are the variables for knowing whether a key is held down. You don't want them to be true right away because you don't want your player to start moving as soon as you start even if you're not holding down a key. These are some variables for some of the properties that the player should have. These are the keyboard event listeners to listen for when a key is pressed and released and they run these functions. This is the press a key function. And lower down here is the release a key function. This listener is applied to the player, which executes every frame. It runs the move the player function. This section of the move the player function deals with controlling the animation. This section of the move the player function deals with controlling the player. This is the speed at which the Y velocity will decrease when the up key is pressed. It essentially controls the height that the player will jump. It's testing to see whether the floor is not touching the player. Adding terminal velocity to the player. It testing to see whether the floor is touching the player. Now that I'm done showing this code, please continue to part 2. I will be explaining how to make the bullet class and connect it to your FLA file.